Hey everyone, so we are officially coming to the end of 2022 where I am currently. And as I usually do on the channel every year, I tend to put out like a little special video, whatever comes to my mind. Actually, do I put out special videos for New Year's? I try to. I don't know if I actually manage to ever do them, but damn do I try to. God, this is an awkward camera angle. I'm using the front camera of my phone, which I don't normally use. So apologies if this is like an awkward thing. Plus I'm fat as hell from all the eating I did over Christmas. Anyways, we are coming to the end of 2022 and I just wanted to do a little channel recap and give you some thoughts on what's gonna be happening over well, basically the next year. And to start out with the channel recap itself, I think 2022 has been pretty good, mostly good for the channel. Um, I kind of like where I'm taking the whole thing uh, with the type of videos. I mentioned this before, but I've said this, that I'm probably the happiest now with the channel that I've been in a long, long time. I think it's just come to the fact that my content needed to change and 2022 was the year I finally pulled the plug. I mean, the year started out great. We of course got Elden Ring in February, which is a fantastic game, a great game. I have my issues with it, but I still overall really, really enjoy it. I mean, the fact that it was in the top five games of the year for me, I think is a testament to Elden Ring itself. But other than that, there were a lot of great experiences, uh, gaming experiences this year. So yeah, this has been a good year for gaming. I mean, Elden Ring, I think was the main focus and I think is going to be the main focus for a little while to come until Armored Core 6, basically. But yeah, again, in terms of the channel itself, I pulled the plug on switching to a sort of more weekly type content, more edited type content, less videos, but higher quality, I think in September. And again, overall, I'm really, really happy with the change and really happy with where this is uh, basically going with the channel. I have a lot more time to do stuff. I have a lot more time to think about ideas instead of, again, non-stop producing just uh, let's play video after let's play video and just going and going and going and going. I think this is uh, overall a lot better for everyone. Uh, and I think you guys are liking the videos too, at least I think the feedback I'm getting is positive. Uh, but as always, if you have any thoughts or ideas, you can always use my Discord or whatever Instagram or whatever contacts are down in the description to let me know. I'm always open to ideas and all that. I think really the thing that's come down to is that that's my dog, by the way, people are, of course, shooting fireworks outside and he's freaking out because this is actually his first New Year's because uh, he's a rescue and he was still out on the streets uh, last December and last. Well, no, at the end of December, he was already at the shelter where we got him from. But, you know, you know how it is. But anyways, yeah, the videos themselves are going well. Uh, I think the feedback is good. The only place where I'm not seeing a lot of development, and I think it's going to be one of my focuses for next year, try to get that somehow under control, is the subscribers. Uh, essentially, I just checked my analytics for this year, and well, basically, I've gained less than 500 subs in the past 365 days, years. Yeah, I've been on YouTube for 365 years. Get on my level. Get on my level. Um, yeah, uh, I got, I think, like 498 subs or something, which is pretty dismal. It's pretty dismal, to say the least. Uh, usually when a new Souls game comes out and I put one of those videos out like I did with Elden Ring, I always got like a big boost and that just doesn't seem to be happening. But I think that's like the general vibe and direction of YouTube and most social media platforms. I think one of the trends is that I think it's very difficult to grow on any social media platform nowadays, unless you just happen to lock out with the algorithm and grow viral, because I think most social media platforms are at a stage where they recognize that they have their top talents and the creators that pay big and earn big and they like really have no desire to let more people in there. And not that I'm saying that I want to be like a huge YouTuber or anything like that. It's nothing like that. Obviously I do this as a hobby, but still with the views and with the likes and with the comments, 
it would also be nice to see some subscriber growth. So I'm going to try to get on that. It's just, I think the issue is that most of my videos are just staying within the audience. Like most of you who are watching the videos are people who are subscribed to my channel. And then yeah, I just got to get people who are new somehow to subscribe, which is easier said than done. The other sort of area I want to focus on and somehow try to get um, improvements on for next year is going to be the streams. Uh, obviously, my streaming schedule is always fucked up. I've never, I've never denied that. Um, I fully admit it. Uh, however, I would like to sort of get like more viewers, increase the viewership on each stream. I used to get like easily between 25 to 30 viewers per stream sometimes. And now I'm struggling to get like 15. And obviously it's down to the fact that I haven't streamed for like ages. And the other fact is that my streaming schedule is all over the place, which I will try to fix. That's like one of my big things. And yeah, hopefully that will pick up as well because I do enjoy streaming. And again, it's always the more the merrier. Uh, you always, just the nature of streaming that you tend to be more engaged and all that when there are more people, but I'm not going to, obviously I'm happy to stream for any number of people. I'm not like that ass. There was an asshole on Twitch who went off on one of his like dedicated viewers. He had like three viewers and he chewed one out for like missing two streams or something like that. And it's just absolutely ridiculous. Twitch is like really the shittiest social media platform. One of the shittiest ones out there. So anyways, that, those are the two plans for 2023. And the other plan is just to keep on going with the content, the type of videos that I've been uh, producing. I have a couple of ideas, uh, I think, just to give you some like previews of what's going to be happening. Uh, I really want to make a video on Returnal. I want to really do that because I enjoy that game quite a lot. The other big thing I want to do is I want to make a video on the duo bosses because I think one of the things is I, I'm, I'm on my third playthrough of Elden Ring and uh, like I mentioned I think in somewhere else that this is sort of my like wrap up playthrough I'm trying to do things that I've not done and one of the bosses I got to was the Valiant Gargoyles and I realized how shitty the duo boss fights in Elden Ring are they're absolutely horrendous uh, so I thought of making a little comparison video on why Previous Souls games duo bosses tend to work. Uh, specifically, I think the two examples are Demon Princes and Ornstein and Smo versus why they don't tend to work in Elden Ring. They don't work in some of the other games either, like Dark Souls 2 doesn't have good duo boss fights either. But anyway, that's one idea. The other thing I really thought would be fun, I don't know whether it should be a stream or whether I should make it an actual like video video, is I thought I would play through Dark Souls using the exact build and exact stats and weapons I use on my very first playthrough. I thought that would be a fun one, like recreating my first character, because man, that, that character was a mess. I think I used the Zweihander in the end, and I, I've, at one point, at several points maybe, I've put points into resistance, which is, yeah, that's that's quite a mistake, isn't it? So I thought I would that would be a fun thing to just go through the game with my knowledge now of the Soul series and of course try to recreate that. And those are like the near near time ideas. I still want to get like a Dark Souls 2 speed run speed run in. Um and yeah that's those are some of the ideas. Obviously there are going to be new games coming out as well. The ones I really want to cover are obviously Armored Core when when slash if that comes out. Street Fighter 6, as I mentioned in the previous uh, top five games I'm looking forward to, which I'll put somewhere if I don't forget in like the little card if you want to check that out. And yeah, the other big thing I want to sort of do as well in 2023 is put a little bit of effort into my music channel, Mr. Sketchhead Music. Um, it's probably, it's going to be somewhere. I'll link it um, just to put some videos there as well. And we'll see what happens. I've always wanted to, and this is something that I don't know if it's going to happen. Like I've always wanted to do something like podcast style, but I never managed to actually gather up enough ideas and all that to make a podcast. So we'll look into that, but who knows? Yeah, there's going to be content on the music channel as well. There already is content on the music channel. So if you want to go check that out. And of course, the last thing is I do have to mention, I mention it every single time. Oh, sorry, got to adjust the party hat. 
is January. So January is a little sort of musical challenge where you're supposed to put like a little musical idea or something, little jam together for every year of January. And I've done that for the past good few years on Instagram. I'm going to be putting that on YouTube as well. And yeah, we'll see what happens. If you want to check that out, it's Mr. Underscore Sketchhead. I always say this as well, but Instagram and Discord are probably the best ways to get in contact with me if you want. And yeah, I also have a Twitter account there somewhere, which I don't use, but it's there. I mean, follow me if you want. Uh, it's just Twitter, which is probably the funniest social media website right now. It's absolutely ridiculously entertaining Twitter because there's just so much shit around and I'm there all the way. Yeah, anyways, I think that's going to be it. Hopefully I didn't swear too much for YouTube to demonetize this video. If you guys don't know, there's a wonderful new feature on YouTube. Stealth released uh, update uh, patch to YouTube where if you swear in like the first, I think like 10 to 15 seconds of a video, you basically just instantly get demonetized and that works retroactively as well. Um, that's when I see shit like that, that's like the... Those are the times I'm glad I'm a small YouTuber and I don't, my living doesn't come from this stupid platform because that's the thing, they make a change like this, stealth release it and you could absolutely be screwed because it's not just people who swear in the first 30 seconds are getting demonetized. Sometimes it's people who are just like, there's some algorithm level where if you swear beyond a certain threshold, you just get booted from the monetization. Uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. That's the, I think the worst, like I wouldn't probably want to be uh, like someone who lives from creating social media content because something like that and you're out of a living and how ridiculous is that? I guess it's no different than getting like uh, made redundant at a company or something, but still, still, you know, it's like a little bit iffy. But anyways, hopefully I didn't hit whatever stealth threshold there is. I don't see my videos getting demonetized, but you never know. Anyways, I think that's going to be my recap of, well, was this a recap? I guess it kind of was. It was just more of a Mr. Sketchhead spewing shit at the camera uh, for, what is this, like 12 minutes? Yeah, 12 minutes. Anyways, that's going to be it, I think. I'm going to go back to getting drunk because I'm already sort of wasted. Maybe that's why the words are coming so easily. I don't even have to edit jack shit from this, which is, you know, when I'm in like the talking mood when that happens. So yeah, I'm going to go get wasted. Um, happy new year and see you guys in 2023. Take care everyone and peace out.